Hello guys, I'm Umbri, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Mario Kart Wii Online on Dolphin Emulator. To do this you will need the following. A Nintendo Wii console that has been soft modded, a PC or laptop that is capable of running Dolphin, any type of SD card, I recommend using a micro SD card but any SD card works, a fast internet connection, I recommend getting a LAN adapter, and a working Mario Kart Wii ISO. I won't be showing you where or how to get a Mario Kart Wii ISO, because that is illegal and that could risk my channel getting deleted. The best and easy way of obtaining a Mario Kart Wii ISO is through Clean Rip, because you can back up your game disc, and obviously that goes to your SD card. Or you can use a USB loader like USB Loader GX, which you can back up your game disc but instead of putting it on an SD card you can put it on a hard drive instead. I'll put a link in the description below on any video on USB Loader GX and any video on Clean Rip. So yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to download and set up Dolphin Emulator. So you want to go ahead and type in dolphinemu.org on your browser. You want to go over to download. You either choose the beta or development version of Dolphin. I prefer the development version, but it's entirely up to you. You want to go ahead and click download. It may take a while depending on your computer speed. Okay, so when it's downloaded, you want to open the zip file. You can use WinRAR to open the zip files. I will link that in the description below. Okay, so when the zip file is extracted, you should see a folder called Dolphin X64. I recommend putting this folder somewhere safe on your desktop. Your hard drive, your documents on your file explorer, it's entirely up to you. You want to open that folder and you want to double click on dolphin.exe. Okay, so when you open a dolphin, it's going to be blank for you. That's because there's no games on the list. First, I will show you how to set up your controller for Dolphin. Okay, so you want to click on controllers. For Mario Kart Wii, I recommend setting up a GameCube controller, but it's entirely up to you. So we want to want configure. If you have a micro, if you have a micro USB cable lying around in your house, you want to connect that to your PC. Once it's connected, you want to click here. It should say X input. Um, then what you need to do is you need to set up a controller. Uh, use your mouse to config each button, once you've done that, we will go to the graphics and main settings. Alright, let's go over to config. I recommend copying everything I've checked on these screens. Some of them I will check on your own, as they might be useful to your PC and gameplay. This is where the Dolphin folders are located. Uh, set them to what's necessary. Leave this part along with this part and this part for now. Now let's go over to graphics. I recommend using Direct 3D11 or Vulkan as your back end. If you have a graphics card, choose that and leave the aspect ratio as auto. I would recommend using Resync as that prevents screen tearing along with starting full screen. These ones are optional but I recommend checking Show FPS. Now go over to Enhancements. Set the internal resolution to whatever works with you and what works the best on your PC. I recommend setting it to 4x native. Anti-aliasing is up to you. Leave anastrophic filtering where it is, along with post-processing effect, along with this screen. Go over to hacks. Copy this screen. And lastly, advanced. Copy this screen. Load custom textures is if you want to have a custom texture pack, which I would definitely would recommend. I'll link a good Mario Kart Wii texture pack in the description. Also take prefetch custom textures. And now Dolphin is all set up and ready to use. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to get a Boot Me NAND backup, which is required to play Mario Kart Wii online on Dolphin. I assume you already homebrewed your Wii. I will link a video on how to homebrew your Wii in 2022 if you really haven't done that yet. Okay, make sure you copy everything I do in this part. Okay, so what you want to do is you need to insert your SD card into your Wii. Then you need to go into the Homebrew channel, and then you need to load Boot Me. If you haven't already installed Boot Me, I will link a tutorial in the description below. Okay, so once you're in the Boot Me menu, you need to copy everything I'm doing right now. If you're using a GameCube controller, you can navigate through the Boot Me menu with the D-pad and the A button. If you're not using a GameCube controller, 
then you want to press the power button on the Wii console to navigate through the menu. And to select an option, you want to press the reset button. Use the D-pad or the power button to navigate all the way over to the settings option. Press A or reset to select your option and then press the first option. Okay, once you've done that, as you can see, the Wii has now been backed up. It usually takes about five to 10 minutes to fully finish the backup. You will notice that it says on the right, current block, unprocessed block, processed block, and bad block. You will encounter the bad block sometimes. Don't worry, it will disappear. Give it a few minutes and all the blocks will turn green. Once the backup is finished, you can press any button to exit. You now want to eject your SD card from the Wii and you want to put it back into your PC. Okay, once your SD card is now into your PC, you want to go into File Explorer. You want to go into your SD card and then you should find NAND.bin. You need this for the NAND backup. You will also find another file called Keys.bin. Keep this one safe. Do not share any of the NAND files, keep them safe and to yourself. Put the nan.bin on your desktop for a second. Now head over to Dolphin. Once you are in Dolphin, go to Tools and hover over to Manage NAND and click Import Boot Me NAND Backup. I've already got my NAND installed on Dolphin, so I don't need to do this. Locate your NAND and it should install into Dolphin. Okay, now we are done with the NAND part of the tutorial. We now need to download the Wii System files. I will put a link in the description for the Wii System files. You need to download them and you will find the three files called rootcurd.pem, clientcurd.pem and clientcurd.pem. You now need to go to the documents of File Explorer, go to the Dolphin emulator folder, go into the Wii folder and then paste the three files there. Now we are on to the last part of the tutorial. Assuming that you have a Mario Wii ISO, we are now going to patch Mario Wii ISO so it now works online. You want to go to wemify.de on Google, for example. Once you're on that website, hover over to Wemify on the tab at the top, click Wemify Patcher, then click Wemify ISO Patcher. Bear in mind that you can also use WBFS files as well. Download that, you should get a zip file. Open it up, put the folder somewhere safe on your desktop. Now open the folder. You should then see a file called patchimages.bat. You want to drag and drop your Mario Kart Wii ISO or WBFS file onto that file and you should get a command prompt pop up. It should then start patching the Mario Kart Wii ISO so it works online. It should take a few seconds. Once it's finished, you can press any key to continue. Okay, once that's done, you will notice that a new folder has appeared called Wemify Images. This is where your patched Mario Kart Wii ISO is located. Now it is ready for use on Dolphin. Okay, let's check if it works. Let's boot the game up. Let's go into the file select screen. You will notice at the top left corner, it says Wemify in orange text. If the text is blue, you're using an outdated Wemify patcher and you need to get the updated one, which is located on the Wemify website. If it just says select license, you need to try again. And if you're having any issues with the patcher, feel free to join Atlas's hacking discord where you can ask for help on Wemify, etc. I will leave a link below. Now let's select the file and you'll notice that it says Wemify instead of Nintendo WFC. Press A. Now if everything's working, you will be able to play online straight away. Judging if you have already played Wemify and waited 7 days on your Wii NAND, if not, you will get an error code. Then you need to wait 7 days for activation. This stops hackers from ruining servers. It's annoying, but that's how it is. Okay, so that is how you set up Mario Kart Wii Online with Dolphin in 2022. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Message me on Discord or Twitter. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped out a lot. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.